Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSE 1999, guys. Okay, so the question is uh, the maximum gate delay for an output. Okay, for an output uh, to appear in an array multipli multi multiplier for multiplying two n bit numbers. Okay, so the question is uh, if you are multiplying two n bit numbers, uh, what is the time complexity? Is the question okay? So, first of all, before understanding this question, you should have a clear idea with respect to digital electronics multiplying two bit to n bit numbers, uh, and you should have a clear idea how complexity works okay like sm work okay yes so first of all let us uh, try to understand how exactly multiplication works so let me take a small example so let us uh, take the numbers uh, 13 and 11 guys okay so first of all let us uh, convert them into binary so most of you might be thinking that okay i know binary and few of you might be say, thinking that first of all i don't even know how to convert binary so anyway why to worry guys so let us uh, try to learn it now what's there in that so how many numbers does a binary number have guys it will be having zero or one right so in total how many numbers two numbers so do lcm with respect to two so if you do two so what you will get you will get 6.5 right so always divide and write the remainder on the left side guys on the right side okay yes so again a two sir it will be three reminder zero okay again a two sir 1 and reminder is 1 so now it is done right yes so we did for 13 right yes so always write from a bottom to top guys so what is the order 1101 1, so your bit representation is a 1101 1, guys similarly let us do for 11 also okay yes 11 2 are 5 and 1 2 are 2 and 1 2 are 1 and 0 so now what is this bit representation it is a 1 0 1 1 right yes okay so now we have done it right yes so now you can do multiplication so multiplication is absolutely easy guys if you ask me okay yes so how we do normal multiplication 1 into 1 it is a 1 1 into 0 it is 0 1 into 1 it is 1 1 into 1 it is 1 so in the same way you can write so here i'll be writing excess okay so you can just continue in the same way okay 2 3 4 okay okay again it is 1 right so 1 1 0 okay yes. so now we shall add them so here we are having only one so one plus a zero is a one one plus a zero 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 is one remember so whenever you are adding a one plus a one what you will get guys you will get a two but in a binary do we have two guys no so how you will represent a two is you will represent a zero here and you will carry one okay similarly if you add one 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 the result is three so in a binary do we have three no hence you will add one here and you will concatenate one here so basically how three will be, three will be present one one right yes so you will write one here and you will transfer this one to the next one so it is carry right yes okay so now let us understand so here we are having one plus one it is a two two plus one is a three so now we got three right so three representation is a one one right in the binary so you will keep one here and you will carry one here got it yes similarly again it is one plus one plus one it is three so again one here carry so one plus zero plus zero it is one and one so if you write the representation or the value for this okay sorry for that guys okay so i was just a bit confused that how everything came one so i did a silly mistake here guys so one into one is a one zero one one similarly one into one is a one zero one one zero into everything will be zero 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 one into this thing will be one zero one one right so i wrote one one zero one so that's a silly mistake which i did i'm sorry for that so let us recalculate it guys okay so here you will get one only here you will get one only here you will get one only here one plus one plus one the result is three so if it is a three you will write one here and you will carry one here right so let us write one here and let us carry one here carry okay so one plus one is a two right so what we should write we should write zero and we should carry one okay so one plus one so it is again a two means a zero here and carry one okay similarly 1 plus 1 again it is a 2 means again here 0 and carry 1 so at the end we got result in this way okay yes so most of you will be saying that so what is the number now so what is a normal multiplication 13 into 11 guys it is 143 right yes so in the same way this is the binary representation of 143 so most of you might be asking that okay we want a proof like how it is exactly so write for first one it is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 because it's binary right yes 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6, 2 power 7. So what is 2 power 0? 1, 2, 4, 8, 
16, 32, 64 and 128. So now multiply them and add them guys. So 128 into 1 is 128 plus so here you will get 64 into 0, 32 into 0, 16 into 0. So everything will be 0. After that we got 8, 4, 2, 1. So this is a 10 and 15. Okay. So if you add you will get 143. Got it? Yes. So this result is nothing but 143. So exactly what is the thing we did here guys. So you took this string. Okay. And you multiplied each and every bit with that particular string right so if you observe here we multiplied them wrote them in angular way and we have added them right so what exactly we did so we read this particular string so if this string length is n you will read it n times and if the next length string is also n so it is n bit n bits right yes so if it is also n bits you will perform a n times multiplication right so it is nothing but n into n right the complexity that indirectly states that option a will be the correct answer that is nothing but big o of n square right yes so I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So how exactly we have identified? So first we understood the logic, like exactly it is multiplying each bit with every bit of the other number. So in that way, if it is multiplying, so it will multiply n square times, right? Yes. So that is uh, this question, guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.